Good morning, guys and girls. It is time for a guest reading of today's Catch of the Day by my granddaughter, Jordan. And I hope you all enjoy this. Jordan loves the Lord. She uh, does some youth camps during the summertime, and, and uh, she does has done a lot of... Uh, of uh, outreach going around to camps in the summertime really all over the United States and and uh, teaching uh, kids and showing teenagers and talk to them about Jesus she's getting ready to graduate from college here uh, in December just in a couple of weeks and I am just tickled to death and so proud of her so here's today's catch of the day by my granddaughter Jordan Houston she better do good <laughs> how have you seen God's power at work in your life recently his awesome, incredible, almighty power. How have you seen that at work in your life recently? Good morning. I am obviously not Jimmy or granddad as I get to call him. I am Jordan, his granddaughter, and I get the opportunity to be um, a guest speaker, I guess, if you will, uh, on his Catch of the Day YouTube channel today. So, like Granddad always says, if you haven't, go hit that subscribe button on the Catch of the Day YouTube channel. There is no better way to start your day than in God's Word. So go hit that subscribe button, check out those Catch of the Day videos that he does, and um, just keep up with all that he's doing. November 19th. I can't believe that we are already halfway through November, uh, closer to the end than the beginning. Uh, this month has just flown by. This year has flown by. So, Deuteronomy 4:34. He did it with tests, signs, miracles, war, and great sights by his great power and strength. Let's see what he wrote about that for today. There may be millions of unfished bass in the United States. We have more small pieces of water available that have never had a bass lure tossed into them than you can shake your favorite spinnerbait rod at. For me, that might be a favorite roadrunner rod. Most of the water holes are around cities and towns. They are around shopping centers, golf courses, housing developments, abandoned gravel pits, and other unsuspecting spots. If you're anything like our family, we see a body of water and our immediate response is, hey, I bet there's fish in there. Those kind of the spots are what I think of. We might overlook some super fishing holes, but we cannot possibly overlook the awesome power of an almighty God. God displays his great power every day. Even a non-believing non outdoorsman sees that. To those of us who are believers, we not only see these miracles and great sights every day, but we have come to cherish them. One of my favorite things about this time of year is getting to go sit in a deer stand in the morning and watching the sun come up. There's just something special about that. Um, something about seeing that new day come into light. Uh, even non-believing outdoorsmen, outdoors women, they see that and they recognize the beauty of that, but it takes it a notch further when you're a believer and you know who created that morning, who is making that morning come um, about. There's just something special about that, knowing that you're surrounded by God's nature and that he created a new morning. Sunsets, sunrises, everything in between, there's just something special about that. Fishing tip for today. Add a split shot to small spinner baits for easier casting. Adding that split shot's gonna give it just a little bit of weight, make it easier whenever you go to cast that. Have a great day. Go out, be an example. Uh, have a great day, everybody.